I can go back to mm -hmm. gun safety legislation on the Hill, you know, yep. we're, we're hearing you talk over and over again about the president's support of the House bills, but right now it just doesn't seem like they're, you guys have those votes in the Senate, but we've heard from some Republican senators a willingness to work on a more limited package around background checks. So why not pitch something a little bit more limited, try to get something across the finish line? Is the president willing to engage on a more targeted background check bill? I would say that we should, I would punt that question back to the Republicans who are not supportive of universal background checks or an extension of that, which 80% of the public supports. So our question to them would be, why don't you support what the vast majority of your own constituents support? And this is an expansion of background checks, which prevents guns getting into the hands of people who should not have them. So. That's where I would punch you. And you're saying that, that the executive actions the president took on gun safety were initial steps. You've mm -hmm. said, you used that phrase over and over. Yep. So what's, what's next? Give us some preview of what other executive actions you guys are considering, because otherwise it's just passing the buck to Capitol Hill. I, I think it's hardly that. And uh, again, I would say the president has been working on these issues throughout his career for decades. Um, he helped get the assault weapons ban passed. He helped get background checks passed as a part of the Brady Bill. He helped lead the effort to get two dozen executive actions in place when he was vice president and just took actions on his own. There is a responsibility and a role for the Senate to play. There's a separation of powers here, and also he's looking forward to signing that legislation. So I would say that advocates should pressure Republicans in, in the Senate, that all of you should pressure Republicans in the Senate and ask them why they are opposing universal background checks when the vast majority of the American public supports it. Go ahead, Jennifer. Oh, thanks. Um, on the uh, cyber attacks and the sanctions on Russia yep. yesterday, um, a spokesman for the Kremlin says that the U.S. has been informed about what their response is. Can you share what Russia's response is, please? Uh, I will let them uh, share what their response is on their own. I am blissfully not a spokesperson for the Kremlin, uh, but they have indicated they were going to have a response. I don't have more. I can I can react to it once we know what the details are. Has White House been informed about what their response is going to be? Uh, not as of earlier this morning, but I can check with our national security team if there are more details. Okay. On infrastructure, is mm -hmm. there anything that you can update us on about the negotiations, any serious negotiations happening with the GOP on K-4s, anything you can share on infrastructure? Well, I would say that what we're what we're waiting for is a counterproposal from uh, Republicans in Congress, and they've indicated that they're working through that. So we look forward to seriously considering um, any uh, any. Um, proposal uh, that any good faith engagement, I should say, that comes our way. Uh, but we're, we're waiting. We're on the receiving end for that, so we're looking forward to it. On pay-fors, I would say there are basically two options to pay for this job-creating plan. The president believes it should be done by having corporations pay their fair share. That's what he's proposed, an increase in the corporate tax rate, global minimum tax. Uh, some in Congress think that uh, it should be paid for by putting the burden on the backs of Americans. We're happy to have that debate, but that's the fundamental disagreement. Those are the two major 